Yo, what up guys? Kevin Grant here and don't forget to go ahead, like, subscribe and click the bell icon so you know when I upload my next video. But today I want to read uh, a little bit of information from Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And it says, the most important conversations you'll ever have are the ones you'll have with yourself. Once again, the most important conversations you'll ever have are the ones you'll have with yourself. You wake up with them, you walk around with them, you go to bed with them, and eventually you act on them, whether they be good or bad. So, our self-talk is the most important conversation that we can have, right? It's not with other people. We may think it is, but it's not. The most important conversation that you and I can ever have is with ourselves. Uh, what are we saying to ourselves? What do we believe about ourselves, right? And also, our feelings. What do we feel about ourselves? How are our emotions? What, what feelings are we, we, we stuck in? What limiting thoughts, beliefs, ideas, and self-talk that we keep repeating over and over within ourselves? So with that being said, I want you to become aware of those self-talk, right? Become aware of that, those feelings that are not uh, supporting you. And once you become aware of the self-talk and the things, the conversations in your head that doesn't support you and the feelings in your body that doesn't support you, begin to now uh, switch those out for the feelings, the thoughts, ideas, beliefs, and self-talk conversations that do serve you. Because once again, as I like to say, your thoughts are creating your world. And we can go a little further and add your thoughts and your feelings are creating your world. In other words, by that I mean the experiences that, you, that we have in life are based on our habitual thinking and our habitual feeling states. And most of our thoughts and feelings are subconsciously programmed, mean, meaning that we do these automatically. So now that I am helping you become aware, your job, your assignment is to begin to consciously choose the thoughts and consciously choose the feelings, right? For example, um, if you desire to create a feeling of happiness, simply speak the word happiness and begin to feel, begin to think about what happiness means for you. Or it could be joy or love. And when you say that word, say it out loud, joy. And begin to feel it. Just sit there for a second. Don't jump from word to word. Or maybe you do. Whatever makes you feel better, that's what you do. And you just stay with that joy. And then think of all the things that, 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 that would bring joy to you, right? And get the feelings, get the thoughts, get the beliefs, get the ideas, get the self-talk that brings joy within you, that brings that joyful feeling, all right? And you want to do this every day. It don't have to be joy. I'm just giving you some example. Any thought, idea, belief, self-talk conversation, or feeling that allows you to feel better, begin to use that more than the thoughts that do not allow you to feel better or the, the feelings that do not allow you to feel better. The, you know, so, you know, begin to feel good. Do things, say things. Maybe you play some music that makes you feel good. Maybe you exercise. Maybe you eat healthier foods, all right? Like the, the sugary snacks, If for some people that are maybe emotional eaters, they are emotional eaters because they eat 
because it makes them feel good right then. But in reality, when we eat foods that are unhealthy, like the sugary foods, in the long term, in the long run, they make us feel worse. So we have to begin to uh, discipline ourselves and have that self-discipline to create and, 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 and look for and search for the, the better thought, better self-talk, the better inner conversations. Be disciplined to create the better feelings, the better emotions. And then you will start to, once you do this inwardly, create that atmosphere of good thoughts inside and those good feelings inwardly, we will begin to experience those in our outer world. We'll start to see signs that our inner change because it's like a, it's a mirror. You can't change the out here. That's the mirror. We you, you don't change the mirror. You change here. And then the mirror reflects the change that you do inwardly. So once again, guys, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching by live video chat. Also by phone and by email. My information is below this video. Contact me if you feel like you need coaching. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share click the bell icon so you know when I drop my next video. This is Mental Fitness. Bye-bye.